I'm back, and I told the truth. I drank some more soda. I, I just, I just really like soda, okay? I like some bubbles. Oh, hello. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Well, first, I need to clear my throat. <coughs> uh, yes, help me. Um, uh, my, there we go. Uh, let's talk. Say hello. Oh yeah, welcome, yeah, also, not doing a voice for her, because, like I said, Toriel, bad at female voices, and I just straight up can't do it right now. Oh yeah, welcome to Snowden. Can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? I know what to do here in Snowden. Grillbis Grill has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Alright, well, let's see where I can buy. Tough go glove. Slap him. <laughs> Manly bandana, it has abs on it. Bicycle, eat it twice, and a cinnamon bun. We're gonna get a cinnamon bun, and a bicycle, and a bandana. We don't need a glove. And can I sell you things? Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works for you, come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Bye now, come again sometime. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put some stuff away. Uh, still need a stick. Save cinnamon bun for late. Blah, burps. Soda burps. And... Put on the manly bandana. Manly bandana. Seven defense. It has... It has seen some wear. It has abs drawn on it. Well, let's put it on. Quit manly bandit. And we'll put away our ribbon. Let's check out the inn. Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowden's premier hotel. You clever name word pun user thing. Eight is 80G. That is a lot, but I will take it. You don't even have 80G. Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of the rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free, okay? I uh, didn't even realize I was low on money. There's people sleeping in the next room. that them snoring. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you're only up there for about two minutes. Feel free to come back if you get tired. Well, thank you, lady. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's, max what's maximum HP? Wait, it's 
Oh dang, I got 30 health instead of 20. That's uh, that's that's pretty awesome. What's this? Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Well, I do want to walk. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. She's a bunny walking a bunny. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Bun 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 bun. Bun 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 bun. Uncle Teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So he started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh, how nice. This is a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. You guys got Christmas down here? You got Santa Claus? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I could tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. And only kids wear striped shirts. Okay. Hello, bear. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! Ah, uh, no. That doesn't sound like politics at all. Grillbees. Hey, it's the dogs. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Hell, I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. Well, you are in need of not me. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Uh, you better be careful then. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. I love bones. <laughs> what are you, you horrible monstrosity? Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why that's funny, it's just adorable. I'm thinking of giving a spike collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put out a line for some girls yesterday. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to go make out with a fish. Well, you look like you're a fish, so... I think that's kind of okay. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Un Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. <laughs> of course. Juke's box is broken. How unfortunate. Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on onto their butts. Hello, fireman. Gribble said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. I can understand why. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Yeah, that was actually really kind of depressing. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be so remorse about it? That's a slightly better attitude. Let's see what's up here. Let's play monsters and humans! You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. What are you? you are you just... Uh, are you literally just like a slime? Are you a slime? Is that what you are? 
because you look like a rock. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Okay, now let me in. Ah. 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 Okay, yeah. It's over here. Oh. Just chuck an ice. Not wearing any clothes. It's kind of creepy. Maybe the other monsters have clothes. Uh, nothing up here. Hey, it's the library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Wait, it is. Oh yeah, it's library. I didn't even notice. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Well, aren't you just a frickin' mind reader? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That actually sounds kind of fun. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. Look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Let's read some books. It's a school report about monster funerals. I suddenly don't want to read as much anymore. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When, a monst when monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, I'm at the page minimum yet. I'm kinda sick of writing this. That's odd, but kinda neat. But this is when you just, they die and turn to dust. It's cleaner than what happens when humans die. Ugh. That gets real gross. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Wait, what? They'll never, do express They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What does that mean? That doesn't make any sense. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. I said you write newspapers, not books. Lion, piece of crap! Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat. Until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven that their souls don't need these things to exist. That's... Yeah, there's... There's some bad people in the world. That mailbox is really full. Unread junk mail. Yes, mailbox label priors. Look inside. Yes, it's empty. Sans, you need to do something with your mail. So I, oh, oh wait, that's their mailboxes. This is their house. Duh. Here's another one of those things. Whoa! I can get to the 
in and stuff. That is convenient. Go in back. Zoom it over. It's locked from the inside. Okay then. Uh yeah, we got time to keep going. Really I can't see anything. Oh. Oh. Hello. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I bid you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You're a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way in my voice is throat is jacked up and trying to do his voice again. Papyrus. Attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, nyeh heh heh. Nyeh heh heh! Well, those aren't any or even near me. Papyrus versus <laughs> nyeh heh heh. What? <laughs> Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards! Uh... I actually can't make very good spaghetti. I always... I, I'm a terrible cook. I always mess it up somehow. I couldn't even make grilled cheese last week. Do you, you understand? I couldn't make grilled frickin' cheese. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no, that humility, it reminds me of myself. You're meeting all my standards. Let's date later after I capture you. <laughs> First thing about what we're for his date. Well, let's just spare him. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. I do. Oh, ah. Yeah. Go up. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah. <laughs> Get breathed. <coughs> Crap. <coughs> uh, damn you, papyrus. You're gonna kill me. You're blue now. Mm, I want out. Uh, no, I'm not doing you voice anymore, papyrus. I just fucking choked on your laughter. Oh god, it hurts. Uh, what am I? Yeah, okay, I just. Uh, fuck. Uh, that actually really hurt. <laughs> I feel so dumb. Uh, Special attack. Oh god, okay, I had a lag spike there. That could have been terrible. I 
It almost tastes like your popularity. Oh god. Don't move. Okay. Ah oh, crap, I didn't see that one coming. I was too busy trying to breathe again. Ugh. Wait, what? Snap XT brand anime powder behind his ear. Virus, head of the royal guard! Oh crap. Unparalleled spaghetti. Dan will be really proud of me. Oh, oh geez. from heads in the shape of my smile. Jump. 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 My brother will... Well, he won't change much. Up, 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 up. I'll have lots of admirers, but... My special attack! Slow, slow, slow. Pirates <coughs> trying hard to play cool. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack! Um, no, come on. My name is. I'm, I'm Bones, I can do this. Not too long, and I will use that special attack! Please. Your special attack is just laughing a whole bunch, just making me strangle myself. Uh, this is your last chance before my special attack! Uh, uh, dang it. Non bone attack, and <laughs> spends a minute fixing his wrist. So. Behold, my special attack! Dog. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Regular attack. Hi, here's an absolutely normal attack. Uh, uh. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, 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 ah, crap. Ah. Uh, dog. Cool. Dude. Yeah. What? No. Oh, God, no. What? Oh, God. I'm still going up. Why am I still going? I'm still going up.
did it. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Spare you. Let me just check him. What if we keep just not doing that? Okay, I guess I don't have anything to say. <coughs> Besides, I really shouldn't do his voice any more than I have to. No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me! I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. Uh, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Well, we, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal dropping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. May I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that day. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Go on a date.